Welcome back to The Graham Stephan Show. My name is Graham and welcome to my show. And we're back at it with this YouTube channel. It's uh, called Truly. Now, I, I've never heard of it before, but they've got 9 million subscribers doing some of the weirdest videos on YouTube that like I'm scrolling down some of this and I'm like, I would love to react to it. It just, it wouldn't be family friendly for me to go through some of these videos. But this one, on the other hand, seems right up my alley. Now they have this series, it's, it's called Bling Life, where they follow around these rich kids who have these wild delusional thoughts of like how big they are and like how great their life is and everything. And this one caught my eye because, uh, get this, I have a $300,000 closet, but I don't have a job. Wait for it, Bling Life. We gotta give this episode a shot, see what it's all about, give her the benefit of the doubt that uh, yeah, $300,000, that's a, she basically has a house in her closet. A great house, by the way. Like, Jack, put up a $300,000 house. This house that you're looking at right here, that is her closet, and even better, the like to dislike ratio of this video has been turned off, which means we know it's gonna be a really good episode. So let's make sure on this video to like it for the YouTube algorithm. It helps us out a ton. With that said, let's begin the video. Asad is a fate on daughter. Wait, what? Asad is a fate on daughter. She calls herself a sad. Sad. I thought like she's saying like, oh, my life is sad, or like something like that. No, stay at home. Daughter. Why? I, listen, if I were a parent and uh, and my daughter ever was like, I'm just a stay-at-home daughter, I'd be like, no, get to work. I would lit I would come up with work to do. Or I would take away the closet. That's probably what I, I would just lock the closet and be like, you're not getting this closet back uh, until you do some chores. It's every girl that doesn't have a job. I came up with stay-at-home daughter because it's who I am. I went viral. This is a day in the life of a stay-at-home daughter in New York City. Who watches that? Seriously, who's going through TikTok and be like, oh, stay-at-home daughter, I want to live her life. I want to be a stay-at-home daughter too. Follow, watch, watch, watch. And meanwhile, she's making money from that. Jeez. So today, we are going to meet up with my friend Frazier. I need to talk to him about the fact that he's not committed to plans. You know what, next time I'm not gonna go out of my way for you. Wow, oh, listen, we're 23 seconds in, she's already, she's like, I'm, I'm gonna confront Frazier, we're gonna get him on this, I'm gonna tell him everything I don't like about what's going, she's stirring the pot, big time. Oh, I have a driver oh, You know what, this is what happens though when you have nothing to do. When your life is so great, and you start looking for things like this to like, just make your day interesting, you know, that's when you have it good. Uber. We both have drivers. He's so These are my favorite shoes. I want to know what happened. I'm actually really curious when, when they both have dry. Like, oh man, I hope they cover that in here because I'm into it now. This is probably my favorite Chanel bag. This is ten thousand dollars. I love Chanel. My closet is worth around three hundred thousand dollars. Oh wow, three hundred thousand. Imagine if you just invested that. If she just put that into Tesla stock a year ago, she'd have well over like a million bucks. But instead, she's uh, she's sitting on shoes she can't even pronounce. Luxury stuff I like to do, caviar facials. I love to travel. But Wait a second, a caviar facial. Whoever whoever came up with that as an idea, like hey, we're gonna we're gonna take fish eggs. So like the fish are reproducing, okay? And they're laying these eggs. We're, we're gonna take those eggs and we're gonna smear them on our face. <laughs> that seems so archaic, doesn't it? Like that is something, it's like I'm gonna rub the blood of my enemies in my face, but, but you're doing that with like, like a fish's eggs. What other luxurious things I like to do? It's hard to say because you guys see that as luxury, but I see it as every day. That's unpretentious, isn't it? Oh gosh, she's talking down to the people who are filming her. Yeah, to you, to you, that's a luxury. <laughs> to me, this is just my life, huh? <laughs> you, you couldn't even do that. That's like, oh god, I don't like her. I don't like her. I'm gonna wear this dress to the salon. I always like to look very nice and presentable when I'm going out, even if it's just to go to the salon. <sighs> I don't know if these producers are going out of their way to like, you know, cut little excerpts of this out of context to make her look bad, or if she's just doing that herself. I don't know, I can't tell, and I always like giving people the doubt. Like the last guy, Donald, like I went into a thing and I, you know, he's 14, richest kid in America, whatever. By the end of it, I'm like, okay, hey, 
Listen, he's, he's working, he's got this name for himself, like he's using that to his advantage. This just seems like, uh, unfor unfortunately so far, we're a minute into it, she's just been talking down to people. Asad is a fan daughter. It's every girl that doesn't have a job and she lives off of her parents and her role is to be a stay-at-home daughter. What happens after that? Are you always just gonna be a stay-at-home daughter? Does that, does that move on to like, oh, I'm a stay-at-home girlfriend, stay-at-home wife, stay-at-home... Uh, TikTok, or I, I don't know. Daughter series, I realized that a lot of people were lying and fabricating about their lives on social media. Day in life of a stay home daughter, Bahamas edition. So I woke up to 323 missed calls from my ex boyfriend, which gave me anxiety. So I decided to go to the Bahamas. That's a story. That's a, the, again, again, here's the thing. <sighs> Benefit of the doubt here. People are watching this, people are on TikTok seeing this, they're like, oh yeah, I could relate to that. My ex-boyfriend calls me 3,000 times. I'm just gonna go, I, I wish I could have gone to the Bahamas. She's doing that, let me follow her. It's the people who are consuming it are part of the problem. And, and there's enough people out there consuming it for this to be a worthwhile endeavor to her. So again, she's found a niche. She's feeding that audience with what they wanna see and uh, she's, she's making money. I got a new watch because my old watch didn't have enough diamonds in it and it just wasn't shiny. Love, love, love when people say the meanest things to me. More shares, more likes, more engagement. I don't know. I don't know if I believe that. Uh, now she's right. Lilith's on the surface. Just the fact that like she's doing this and we're talking about her gives her more exposure. And let's say from my audience, let's say 1% goes and checks her out and is like, okay, I don't like this, but I'm gonna follow her anyway, just write mean things. At the end of the day, like, that is making her more money. Like, the, if, if you really don't like somebody, the best thing you could do is just don't watch them. But I gotta say, listen, she is right, but I would have a hard time believing that that truly does not bother her. Because at the end of the day, we all want, like, to be accepted, we all wanna be liked. And I think if she had a choice between, like, an equal number of people liking her, or that same number of people disliking her, Again, all things being equal, anyone would pick. Like, you'd rather have people liking you and enjoying your content. Did you know that TikTok actually pays me $22 per mean comment you guys put on my posts? So I take all of that money and I buy another Chanel bag that I don't need. No, there's, there's no way that's true. I mean, I, I don't know if I have to tell you that like every mean comment does not make her $22, but uh, TikTok pays pretty horribly. Unless she's doing sponsorships and like she gets like five comments, but she sponsors a video for, you know, a hundred bucks. I don't know. Unless she's doing math like that. I don't like to brush my own hair. I always have someone do it for me. I always get my hair makeup done as well. I don't like doing my own makeup. Yeah, she doesn't like doing anything, does she? The only thing she likes doing is just spending, le leeching, leeching off of other people's hard work. It's just, it seems like that's what she's doing so far. We haven't really got a good understanding of exactly what she's doing and what like she's bringing to the table here. But you know what? I've said this before in another video. She is good for the economy because she's taking money from her parents and then spending it. And that money gets circulated throughout everybody. And then eventually at some point, it's winding up in someone else's pocket. I think you've met Frazier before. Yeah. But He's not committing to me, and I was like, I've literally been like, Frazier, book the villa. He's not booked the villa whatsoever. Oh man, I could not do her makeup. Imagine, it's like, yeah, sure, she's she's paying you like 50 bucks, 70 dollars, whatever, 100 dollars, do the makeup. But you have to listen to her complain the entire time. I don't know if I could do that, honestly. I could I could put up with like a minute or two of complaining. I'm like, oh man, my ears just start like just oozing. It's, oh man, I, I can't do it. I'm currently upset at Frasier because Frasier has not committed to booking a villa with me for Mykonos. I love the music behind this. Okay, so they want to go to Mykonos together. Uh, I guess he's in charge of booking the villa and he hasn't booked the villa yet. Why she, listen, if she's having somebody do everything for her, why can't she just tell somebody else to book the villa? The same energy to confront him about the villa, she could have had 20 villas booked. So I'm going on a stay-at-home daughter European tour this summer. I would love to show my fans how I live when I go abroad. Why is he showing up here? Did she call him over just to confront him about the villa? Or are they just hanging out? He has no idea what he's walking into right now. Roma, come on, let's go. Let's get this show on the road. Seriously, we have Kima and then we have the influencer event. Okay, the Frazier, driver's waiting I outside. I told you I was going to be late. I don't understand why okay, you're Okay, well, I just him. came from all the way from downtown to Upper West Side to pick. 
Oh, wow. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. There's, a, there's two sides to this, okay? She was supposed to be in an influencer event, but she's running late, and he's waiting on her. Wow, that seems like uh, that might have been done on purpose, but you know what? In her world, everyone waits for her. Literally no one asked you to do that. I've been sitting in the car for about 30 minutes waiting for you to get your makeup and hair done. <laughs> okay, but listen. You've been here all afternoon. Okay. You're late by about two and a half hours at this point. Okay. Wow, why is he friends with her though? That's the thing, it's like, okay, one time that might happen. Okay, fine, one time. We're gonna let that slide. But if this is a pattern, I mean, why, why put up with it? So. Okay, I don't give a f I'm trying to look hot. What the hell is wrong with you? Hey, you know what? Next time I'm not gonna go out of my way for you. So don't, don't. I have a driver. Call a Uber. We both have drivers. Why can't he just go without her? Why why does he need to go with her? And uh, this this does not seem staged to me. I don't I don't know why, but uh, I, I'd be suspicious that this was set up in advance, but I feel like this is real. We're a little late to our reservation. Late with no thanks to you. It's not like we were going to lose the reservation. They're not even busy. You know, I just don't like it when people waste my time. I just think it's rude. It is rude. It, I think it's rude and inconsiderate. So, uh, I, 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 listen, I'm siding with him on this. I mean, if you're gonna be kind of the whole time, we don't have to have lunch, I'm by not the way. gonna be the whole time. Why is he all of a sudden backing off of this? I Listen, she, it's, it's, it's her. She's the problem here. That's what I, if she's late. If she's late, she's the problem. I am a little annoyed that you haven't booked me, Knows yet. I literally could have invited anybody and I asked you to come. I'm not anybody, baby. <laughs> and I'm not staying anywhere besides Cavo Tago or Santa Marina. Wow, this conversation, this is, this is wild. I want more between them. I really do at this point. I just want to hear about, I want to hear about what's stressing them out all day. Like what, what problems do they have? Because then it, it, it's just, it's so insignificant to me that, uh, that it would be a conversation it's, it's just wild. It's truly, it's just, oh man. Everywhere else, as far as I'm concerned, is loser central. But you didn't express that to me. <laughs> he's just, he's just as into it though. Everywhere else, loser central. Those are losers. They're not in Mykonos. You know what? Cheers to Mykonos, baby. So we're going. We're going. Okay, so you're okay Trip with whatever. Trip is on. So you're okay with whatever villa that I book. Whatever villa it you want to book. You it will what? be bougie. At this point, if it shuts you up, let's go. Oh, what just happened? What just so she's two and a half hours late. It's just confrontational the entire time. Immediately when they sit down, she's just going at it. He's like, you know what? Okay, let's do it. Let's have a great. I think. I, I wish I could do what what he's doing. I wish just if there's anything, it's like, okay, whatever. Oh man, wow. Okay, it's it's resolved. Um, I think I think we're in a better place. Um, so I am excited for Mykonos. Mykonos and is gonna be hot girl summer. It's Time a very hot girl summer. I'm ready for us. <laughs> I love this for us. I do too. Mykonos, baby. Mykonos. <sighs> okay, so the whole episode was her talking about her three hundred thousand dollar closet. Getting in an argument about being late to a reservation for lunch. Arguing about who's going to book the villa. And the resolution is that he doesn't care that she books the villa because he's going anyway and he's not going to be with the losers. That's the whole episode. And we got to see what the comments say about this. <laughs> oh my god. I love these comments. When you have nothing to offer, those are the kind of friends you attract. When you have nothing, you have to show everything. Appearances. These are really deep comments. I was not expecting this. The title in this video alone is just sickening. Well, then why did you click on it? Yeah, at least Jamie kind of understands it. She gets paid for hate comments. Proof the best way to deal with entitled people is just ignore them. Honestly, if you don't like somebody, don't give them any of your attention. If you give them any attention, whether it just be like a you suck comment, ooh, I don't like that. If, if you give them anything, all of a sudden then you're giving them more of your time. It's not worth it. Just, hey, I, I, you know, it's, it's funny for me because I, I've never had that feeling before where I, like, I'm seeing someone else do something where I want to take time out of my day to be like, ooh, I don't, I don't like it. I don't, it just doesn't bother me. Whatever people do, fine. fine I don't care. But I've never gone out of my way to be, ooh, ooh dude, dude, look at what you're doing. Because again, it's not worth it. I, I, I don't understand how people feel strongly enough to be like just writing hate. And then there's a few other comments here about 
couldn't finish watching this disgusting sense of entitlement. And uh, yeah, this is this is the one video here where I have to say it's just like. <sighs> I, I, I'm trying to turn it around. I'm trying to like say something nice about her. It's hard. It's hard for me to do, at least without knowing like the background of the business and like how much she's making, how much she's really contributing to this. I'm hoping it's an act. I really hope that like people out there do not actually exist like this. Uh, I bet they do. I'm hoping in this case, it's just an act. She's playing it up for the camera. Uh, she's getting more attention from it. I, I'm gonna go with that. Give her the benefit of the doubt that none of this is real and uh, who am I kidding? I don't know. This is one of those episodes where let's follow up again. Let's let's see if we could find her. Let's see if we could see more of her content, get a little bit more background here, and then from there we could give the full review. So with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, make sure to destroy the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell. Also, feel free to add me on Instagram. Post it pretty much daily. So if you want to be a part of it there, feel free to add me there as in the podcast, The Iced Coffee Hour. New episodes being posted every single Sunday. So make sure to add yourself to that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time.